Good morning, everyone. Microsoft BitLocker and device encryption. What the heck is it? Microsoft provides solutions to protect data on lost or stolen devices from unauthorized access. BitLocker and device encryption minimize breach risk from software attacks. These technologies secure data even when a hard drive is removed and used with another device, keeping sensitive information safe in different threat scenarios. BitLocker and device encryption enhance security, insurance files and systems are protected, and data remains inaccessible when decommissioning or recycling devices secured with BitLocker or device encryption. BitLocker and device encryption are almost the same and good at their levels of encryption. Additionally, BitLocker comes with advanced protocols and management tools to safeguard your data. Two versions of BitLocker. Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro are two different versions of Windows operating system, each offering a unique set of features. The Pro version is offered at a cost due to its additional features, which are primarily aimed at enhancing security and functionality. BitLocker is a key feature of Windows 11 Pro, providing a higher level of data security compared to device encryption available in Windows 11 Home. BitLocker versus device encryption. Device encryption and BitLocker on Windows are fundamentally the same, but there are some differences between the two. The limitations with device encryption is that you have no options to configure and no way to require pre-boot authentication. You have to rely on the TPM chip alone. Both work to secure your data, the difference being when and how to utilize them. Pre-boot authentication in Windows 11 is a security feature that requires users to verify their identity before the operating system starts loading. This happens before Windows boots up and can include methods like entering a PIN, password, or using a USB key. In the context of BitLocker, pre-boot authentication ensures that only authorized users can unlock the encrypted drive. It helps to protect against threats that try to access or tamper with the system before Windows start, adding an extra layer of defense against unauthorized access. The TPM module is a, plays a critical role in executing device encryption and BitLocker in Windows 11. It securely stores encryption keys and ensures that the system hasn't been tampered with before allowing access to the encrypted data. When BitLocker or device encryption is enabled, the TPM helps verify the integrity of the boot process. If any unauthorized changes are detected, such as a modified bootloader or BIOS, the TPM can prevent the system from decrypting the device, protecting the data from access by attacker, attackers. This hardware-based security adds an extra layer of protection beyond what software alone can provide. Device encryption, on the other hand, is a Windows feature that enables bit locker encryption automatically for the operating system drive and fixed drives. It's beneficial for everyday users who want to ensure their personal information is safe without having to manage complex security settings. When you first sign in or set up a device with a Microsoft account or work or school account, device encryption is turned on and a recovery key is attached to that account. If you're using a local account, device encryption isn't turned on automatically. 
enable device encryption. Unlike BitLocker, device encryption is available on a wide range of devices, including those running, running Windows Home. If your device didn't automatically enable device encryption, here are the steps to enable it. You want to sign into Windows with your Microsoft account, and in the Settings app on your Windows device, select Privacy, Security, Device Encryption. And you should see a window that looks like this. And you use the toggle button on the right to turn device encryption on. If the device encryption is turned off, it will no longer automatically enable itself in the future. You must enable it manually by going back to the screen and using the toggle button to turn it on. Enabling BitLocker Drive Encryption. BitLocker Drive Encryption is a Windows security feature that provides encryption for entire volumes addressing the threats of data theft or exposure from lost, stolen, or inappropriate decommissioned devices. BitLocker Drive Encryption allows you to manually encrypt a specific drive or drives on devices running Windows Pro, Enterprise, or Education Edition. For devices managed by an organization, BitLocker Drive Encryption is usually managed by the IT department as encryption might be required by organizational policies. To do so, you want to sign into your Windows operating system with your Microsoft account. You want to start from the search from the start search box, type in BitLocker and select Manage BitLocker from the list results. BitLocker Drive Encryption is only available on devices running Windows Pro, Enterprise, or Educational Editions. It isn't available on Windows Home Edition. If Manage BitLocker isn't listed, it means that you do not have the correct Windows Edition. So if you want to enable BitLocker Drive Encryption, you're, you want to um, look at the applet where all the drives connected to your Windows device. The operating drive is a drive on which Windows is installed. Additional drives are listed under fixed data drives. Removal drives like USB thumb drives are listed under removable data drives under BitLocker to go. If you look at this screen here, you'll see the applet that you will encounter when you are enabling or disabling BitLocker encryption. And you see it shows two different drives. There's a C drive, there's a D drive. And then under removable data or BitLock to go, there is an E drive. And to the right of those are the different choices that you can use. So if you're going to enable BitLocker encryption manually, you can do so on Windows Pro, Enterprise, or the Educational Editions. And again, you're going to type in BitLocker and select Manage BitLocker from the list results. Open BitLocker Drive encryption applet that I just showed you. And next to each drive, there's a list of the allowed operations. To enable encryption, select Turn on BitLocker. Select a unlock option, back up the recovery key, and the drive will begin the encryption process. And this could take some time to complete, but you can continue to use your device while it's in progress. And here again is that screen that I showed you earlier. And on the right, you can see the uh, different uh, choices you can do on these different drives. And remember, this is only available in Windows Pro. So if you find that the device encryption is unavailable, here are some of the causes. It might be because your PC doesn't support it or you're signed in with a local user account. Also, some older Windows 11 PCs may not support device encryption. 
It's up to the manufacturer to configure their PCs to work with device encryption out of the box. If you want to check if your Windows 11 PC supports device encryption, again, open the settings app, select privacy and security in the left pane, and click device encryption under security. And here is that screen that you will see. And again, if this option isn't available, your PC lacks it. To access the complete BitLocker drive encryption features, you may need to, you will need to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. So the requirements for using BitLocker drive encryption. For the most powerful and configurable BitLocker experience in Windows 11, you'll need Windows 11 Professional or one of the other non-consumer editions of Windows 11, meaning Enterprise Education or Workstation. BitLocker Drive Encryption is not available for the Home Edition. For the optimal security, BitLocker also requires a computer with PPM 1.2 hardware or newer. Remember, BitLocker stores its description key in the TPM. Since one of the most important system requirements in Windows 11 is TPM 2.0, all Windows 11 PCs should support this. Microsoft spells out a few other obscure requirements like how your hard drive, hard, hard disk might be partitioned with two drives, including a small system partition designed to boot Windows before decrypting the drive. But Windows 11 automatically creates these partitions when it's installed. So it's nothing you really have to worry about. Keeping in mind when using BitLocker. When you're using BitLocker encryption or device encryption, the most important thing is that you need to keep tabs on your recovery key. If you lose it, you'll lose access to all the files on your PC, and so you should store it with your Microsoft account online unless you have a good reason not to. If you choose not to store the BitLocker recovery key with your Microsoft account online, you'll want to store it somewhere else safe and secure. And here's a picture of the key as it would be displayed in your Microsoft account if you access your Microsoft account from another PC. Another thing you might want to do is you want to to print it on a piece of paper and store it in a physical safe, for example. It's also a good idea to have up-to-date backups of your files, whether in the cloud or on a local storage device. Here's some of the takeaways. To activate BitLocker drive encryption on your Windows 11 PC, you first need to upgrade to Windows 11 Professional if you haven't already done so. You can, open the, you can open the classic control panel and search for BitLocker to find BitLocker settings. And from there, you can activate or deactivate BitLocker for any drive. Here's another screenshot of that particular screen. Also, if you want to use device encryption instead, you're going to go to Settings, Privacy, and Security, device encryption to find the settings for it. If you don't see that as an option on that page, your PC doesn't support device encryption. Device encryption should be enabled by default if you sign in with a Microsoft account, but to ensure it's enabled, visit the settings page, check that it's toggle to on, and be sure to sign in to Windows with a Microsoft account and not a local user account. Another thing is you want, if you want to turn off device encryption in Windows, you'll follow these steps. Open Settings, press Windows plus I to open the Settings app, go to Privacy and Security, check on the Privacy and Security tab in the left menu, select Drive Encryption, scroll down and find Device Encryption, click on it. Turn off device encryption. You should see a toggle switch. Turn it off. Windows will then decrypt your drive, which may take some time depending on the size of your storage. If this option for device encryption is not available, 
it might mean your device doesn't support this feature or is turned off by default. If you want to disable BitLocker drive encryption on your device, you go to the control panel, search for BitLocker, and the search bar type BitLocker, select Manage BitLocker, turn off BitLocker, and you'll see a list of the drives that where BitLocker is enabled. So then you click off, turn off BitLocker next to the drive you want to decrypt. Follow the prompts. The system will guide you through the process of decrypting the drive. This might take some time again, depending on the size of the drive. If you're using 11 or 10, you can also disable BitLocker through the settings app or the command prompt. Lastly, BitLocker drive encryption on device uh, encryption are powerful too. Our device encryption are powerful tools for safeguarding your data. By encrypting your entire drive, it protects sensitive information from unauthorized access, especially in the cases of lost or stolen devices. It integrates seamlessly with Windows, offering peace of mind without compromising performance. In a world where data security is more critical than ever, BitLocker or device encryption is a simple yet effective step for keeping your information safe and secure. Thank you for listening, Tech for Seniors. This is Bill James. Thank you.